Then we're on to Gabriel. Oh, did you just smoke him? No, he did some interesting choices there. Sorry, I'm coughing up a lung right now. I'll hit slash button. Gabriel? Oh, critical miss. I'm done. Okay, then we're on to DD. Uh, she doesn't really even need to roll anything to cross the river, right? She's big enough to walk through. Well, she would have to spend double movement to go through the water, but other than that. Okay. That's a double move right there. Okay. Then we're into Alex. Take another shot. That's it. One year later. Okay, then uh, the ogre to the north will attack um, Marath. He'll drop his bow, draw his spear, and stab him. You charged last round, right? Yes. He's going to hit regardless. He's going to hit really regardless. Um, a spear. What's the crit range on that? Uh, 20. Let's just use my one luck to not, not die it. this round. Sorry, what? Not die this round? Yeah, that, that would be my plan here. Yes. Wait, you don't want to die? You know, I've thought about it, but I'm okay. Crit range on a uh, spear is times three. Yeah. Okay, so he uh, stabs you quite brutally. And then the other one will uh, do the same. Drop his bow, draw his spear, and attack uh, Goot. Oh, so close. The one in the back will drop his bow and draw his spear as he moves up. And then he will also impale Marath. That is a hit. Okay, so he strikes you for another 17 points. Maybe I should back up and just use a bow. Are you good with the bow? Uh, I'll live with the bow. Yeah, the ogres are pretty effective with a bow, but their real talent is fighting two-handed because they have a huge strength. Okay, so those three have gone. Hopefully my voice holds out till the end of the session. I'm thinking the same fucking thing. And the last one will attack Alex. See all the bushes and trees? Yeah, it's called archery. 
Hey, I had to try since it was like a straight line there. So 10 points for Alex. And that's all four of them. So we're back to initiative. Oh, that didn't help. I was just Dang, about that's to say. That's the only way you could have lost. I was just about to say, and they're faster with their spear, too, because it's a faster weapon. When I rolled my five, I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Don't worry, you're still dead. Is double movement for to get through the water? Yeah, unless you want to jump it. Gutrek is up first. Uh, let's see. He actually can't get close enough this round. Um, so everyone has a spear now, right? They're, Except well, for the, the one ones have spears. Yeah. yeah. Um, those spears are 15 foot reach with large, right? Uh, no, they're only 10 foot. Oh, okay. Um, this is going to be a gamble, but he. This would be an intelligent gamble, so he's going to run there. And. Yeah. That'll be his turn. Um, I guess he would five foot here. And that'll be his turn. Okay, then it is Goot's turn. All right. We'll go ahead and flurry this time. Nice. We get three now. Awesome. So three hits. Failed the second con save. I assume that's what he was doing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So four con damage. And so four con damage, he six at dice, that would be twelve hit points of damage. You can add to your other totals. You drop him. Oh, is he dead? He should, he should be. I believe he is. Oh, okay. I was just gonna note on his token that he had con damage. Never mind. Yeah, that was like fifty points. Fifty two, I think. Something like that. Yeah, he's dead. That was 59. You could have one-shot one of them. Or like one round one of them from full. If he failed to save and he rolled well on the con damage. I was actually really uh, happy that I made the first save because that was six points of con damage. Yeah. Okay, then we are on to Gabriel. Ooh, critical strike. Oh, critical on the critical. I don't believe that is a hit. That is. So that's times three times four. 
It's two max damage, two regular damage. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Okay, you doing anything else? Uh, about five foot. Okay, then we're into Kratos. Uh... No, I. There's really no point in wasting spells here, so I might just hold my turn. You could move up and heal your fighter. Oh, uh, yeah. He's Increase. lost three quarters of his hit points. Okay, I will hit you with a pure serious. Oh, thank you. Thirty-nine hit points back. Damn. Which I think that might be more because I'm a conjuration specialist. Conjuration focus. Well, plus twenty-four would be uh, eighth level. So. Oh yeah, then that's right. You don't have a staff or anything. Uh, nope. I have a large great cloak. Okay. Time to invest in a large, uh, Darkwood staff. Yep. Okay, then we are on to Didi. Oh, so I just can continue running up. My roll 20 will stop. And that's a double move. Okay, then we're on to Alex. He'll take a shot at the closest one. Damn. But no confirm. It's just team critical over here. You guys are being very critical of my monsters. I'm done. Okay, Mara, you're not dead, and it's your turn. Yeah. Um. That's five foot this way, and let's attack. That is that is the turn. Uh yeah, he'll yeah, that's it. Good thing we didn't agree to to play that game. I'd be dead last right now. What game? Uh the ones who can do the most damage or get the most kills. Glad we didn't decide to play that. I'd be dead last. Wait until I start flame striking shit. Okay, then the last ogre will drop his bow, draw his spear, and charge uh, Mara. I assume Guchurk still has his bow out? Uh, he actually has the battle axe out. Um, I, I decided against it when it was like 185 feet. Oh, okay. Then he gets an attack of opportunity as uh, Yoga goes down. Uh, that will be his downfall. Uh, let's see here. Gutra quintuple crits. Uh, 
Uh, does he? Have, he does have luck. I'm gonna make that a crit. Well, it's a battle axe, isn't a battle axe nineteen twenty? Is it? No, it's twenty times three. It's twenty times three. Okay. Damn it. Uh, do I really? No, I don't. Okay, so what is that? Max and then times two. You don't want to lock yeah. it again? Um. Uh, no, yeah, no, I'll no. have to use my servant's ability for the plus two. Don't worry, you're gonna kill him with that. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Ah, I, I, he doesn't do that much damage. Okay. Ten. Yeah, okay. His max damage was what? Ten. Is that a battle act? No, that can't be, that can't be true. He's this a goblin. Two-handed battle axe? His strength is 13. He does d8 plus 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what did I, did I mention that he's a goblin? <laughs> um, I want to see how, how much damage he can do. I'll lock his second crit up. Oh. Um... I, I I don't know how this works with times three weapons on crits. You just keep rolling until you don't. Crit. Well, uh, he confirmed twice, and yeah, he you roll again. Is it max, max or max damage each time you roll a crit, and then add yeah, he just power. did that. So he did the uh, nineteen, locked that to a twenty, then did another nineteen, locked that to a twenty, and then confirmed. So you do two max damages and two regular damages. Same thing Kenny did last turn. Okay, two, so that's, two, so I need 28 points. <laughs> uh, he's doing his best. That's why, uh, I was saying it's not going to kill him even on three Look, max I could, damages. I could dream, okay? <laughs> that, that's true, you can dream. That is a David vs. Goliath. He just half health an ogre. Now that ogre is going to turn on him and go, puny. Gob. Yeah, well, the ogre was already charging Marath, so that's not going to happen. That hits. 24 points for Marath. Followed quickly by the other ogre attacking Marath. Ooh. That still hits. Another 21. Yeah, this would be the point where putting on the Gloves of Dex, the Amulet of Natural Armor, uh, and the Cloak of Protection would be a good idea. Well, I can do that after the fight. <laughs> I actually thought I'll someone would have gotten those, eh? Oh, I'm taking the Gloves of, or Bracers of Armor. Yeah, I, I, I have armor, so I don't need the Bracers. Uh, he's talking about the Amulet of Natural. Uh. Yeah, no, you, you can have Bracers of Armor. Do not want them. Bracers are actually really good for uh, touch AC and nighttime. Isn't that just like an armor bonus? Yeah, but it's a force bonus, so it affects your touch AC. It doesn't stack with armor, though, except in the No, it, does not, it doesn't stack with the armor, but you could be wearing full plate oh. and bracers of defense, and one does your touch AC and one does your natural, or your full AC. I'll have to remember that for next time. Cool. Okay. Then we are back to initiative. Damn. Ooh, look at that. I didn't roll double digits once for initiative. And you still beat someone. <laughs> I beat Kraz. No, you beat Dee. Why is Dee so slow? She has, takes a size penalty during AC. And she doesn't have the highest deck. She only has the 16 deck. That's fair. Okay. Graz, you're up first. I guess I'm just going to try pot shot fire. Sh or fire. Uh, yeah, fire strike. Uh, 
I think that's a miss. Because I'm at minus four, so yeah, it's definitely a miss, so. Oh, I tried. Add it. I'll move and give Kura, uh, Mara the minor. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm done my turn. Year 11 is a miss because that's minus 4? Yep. Okay, I was going to say, because their touch AC is 11. 2 for dex, 1 for size. No, I don't have point blank. Nope, that's fine. I just thought you would have put that in your check. Yeah, I remembered it after I hit roll. Don't worry, Alex will take that uh, credit for the kill. Nice. Really glad we're not playing that game. <laughs> that game I would be losing. Yeah. Glad no one agreed to it. New strategy. Ooh. Everybody stand back and use their bow. Send Goot forward. <laughs> Gootrick takes five, five, uh, five feet forward. He can uh, flank. Yeah. I hear he's a really Goot fighter. Oh, it is his turn. Uh, yeah, he will find it. So, <clears throat> you know what it means? Know what what means? Gut is just German for good. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Very nice. That's cool. I, I thought uh, someone said he's a good fighter. Yeah. Das ist er gut, ja. Uh, if he moves here, this will not be flanking, right? With Gutrick for Goot? Yes, but you and Gutrick are already flanking the ogre, so the ogre is flanked. Carry on. That's what, that's his turn. Okay, Goot, you're up. All right. Uh... I suppose I'll have to make a tumble check to... Or you could just double five foot. That seems weird, but sure. If I can do that. Yep, you can use your move and your swift as uh, five foots. You can make the tumble check if you want. You can go further with a tumble check. You can do something fancy and tumble over to the other side. The nice thing about a cornered uh, flank is that you can just five foot right out of it. So, if on his turn he wants to flee, he can five foot to the northwest and just walk away from you guys. And you said I can two weapon attack with. And it'd be the same as a flurry, basically. Um, um, it would be. It would be at minus two. Your flurry now is only minus one, I think. Yeah. All right. Let me do a. I can quick adjust that. Or you can just roll it and say it's minus two. First one's a hit. Are you taking into consideration your flanking? So you're plus two? Yeah, I put that in there. Okay, just check. So fortitude saved from them. And that'll end my turn. I thought you got three attacks now with your flurry. He's well, yeah, but I had a, he was too far away for me to use a full round action. Ah. Uh, that was one of the reasons that I got rid of the full round action form of two weapon style and added in the uh, half attack thing because it sucks when you're 
martial character and you have to move. Um, then we're on to Gabriel. Is it minus four or minus two for shooting into combat? Minus four. So I guess I missed. But then, then plus two for flank. He is flanked. Oh, well then I hit. Okay, the ogre goes down. Very nice. Was easy. Yeah, for those who stood back and did nothing, it was very easy. I feel like Marath might not feel that way. Yeah, he took like 100 points of damage in that fight. <laughs> Just a flesh wound as he coughs up blood. Yeah, I was like thinking of blowing spells. I'm like, nah, it's not blow spells on Ogre. Okay, just for uh, a reminder, Ogres are basically the um, hated enemy of the Brout. Um, and Ogres in this area are two days outside of their territory. Like if you wanted to go to an Ogre village and buy something, you'd have to travel two days to the east of here. They've not typically done this, correct? Um, they have typically done this because they are very aggressive. Um, but the thing that tends to keep them in check is that when they come this far, they're immediately slaughtered by the Brout who hunt in this area. And the Brout do not uh, back down from fights with ogres because they're the oppositional uh, enemy of their god. And are they intelligent enough to be able to see an opportunity to take it? Like, like if it. they see us having issues, they would be smart enough to start moving forward and be that aggressive? Or, um, I don't know if I would say it's intelligence uh, versus kind of like an instinctual or cunning aspect. Is they will always be standing at the line. So if there's nothing stopping them from crossing the line, they cross the line. If those guys die, now there's nobody standing at the line and the next tier moves up to the line. So um, you know that uh, your people have pulled back from this area for the last few months and uh, we haven't encountered any hobgoblins up this far recently. So there doesn't appear to be any hobgoblins here. So it seems to just be kind of a power vacuum. Um, these are hunters, so they might just be out hunting. Uh, it's a long way outside of their territory to go for a hunt, but they might just be, might have hunted their area dry and they're looking for fresh areas. Hmm. Well, the last thing we need to can, we need is a two pronged fight right now. Um, how do we want to handle this? We can continue to head to continue our path, or we can try and push them back a bit more. If they keep expanding that line, if we follow where they came from, we might be able to take out more of their line to push them back. Well, we're currently sweeping the area to do what you're talking about anyways. We're trying to sweep it clearer of anything that might be an enemy. Yeah, I was saying do we want to focus on them specifically instead of continue a wide sweep? No. If they run into hobgoblins, they're going to kill hobgoblins. If the hobgoblins run into them, they're going to kill, kill the hobgoblins. I'm not too concerned about it. If they're both enemies, focusing on one over another was probably a mistake. Okay. We will restore order to this area. Okay, um, I believe ogres are probably the only real thing on your list that you're going to encounter for enemies of your church.
Yep, I have added it. It's nice <laughs> that we have five people, so I can just divide by ten now. So they are enemies of the church, eh? So we got probably not that much, eh? Uh, 2.4. It's half the CR church in these five proud. of us. 2.4 CR each? No, uh, it, it's total. There's a total of 24 CR here, divided by 10, because five people and it's half the CR. I actually think... Now re-looking over my chart, that might put me at exemplar. You say so it's two point four. Yeah, yeah, you just got you just got two point four more points. Yeah. Oh, that bumps me up. Hold on. Yeah, I just gained my max hit points. Well, that should be a real perk for you, considering your hit points are so terrible. Uh yours are D eight, right? Yep. I got max hit points, and I'm still less than Marath. <laughs> you have max hit points, and you're still 15 less than Marath. I am a Paragon of Valor. Nice. Nice. I guess you're so far behind, Kenny, because you just joined, so you haven't had a chance to get all the little things. Yeah, I'm three points away. Oh, sorry, not three points. But you know what that tells me? Four points away. What is it? Another tell? blade barrier caster. That is correct. <laughs> we how many blade barriers do we have in this party now? Everyone should have it at this point. Nope. How do you not have? Because he's a fighter he and he doesn't get most of the stuff on the list. I guess yeah. Um, that makes sense. How many people did John? Did you say died in the um, in the patrol that I was on? They'd like none of them came back, right? Yeah, they nobody survived. Away. You left them because they were turning back, and they were all killed before they returned. I think there were six or eight in your patrol. And since your patrol was sent out to find the other patrol that didn't come back, that's when they stopped sending patrols out. It was like, well, we're just getting picked off one at a time. We'll stand our ground and wait for reinforcements. If I sent a hundred gold pieces each for to the families of the eight people who died, would that be an act of compassion? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Well, then I would have sent that off before I left town. Okay. Yeah, a hundred gold pieces is like three or four years' wages. Yeah, so I'll get plus two more there. It's like fucking more than an insurance policy on someone's dead kid. Uh, normally you get life earnings on it, but it's a lot for just being handed it by the nice guy. So, yeah, now I'm three points there. Nice. Sorry, Sorry. it's only two points now. Okay, uh, if you guys want to heal up and whatnot, I'm going to go grab another drink, and then we can continue on. Do we know what happens if they get the shield? We don't, right? We, we don't know what the effect is. Probably really bad thing. Like, if we're lucky, it's just a status symbol, but if we're realistic, it's probably very catastrophic. For luck, yeah, for, yeah, I would say more than catastrophic. Probably. Sounds like it might be an artifact. It'll take a week for them to get there, right? For the reinforcements to get to our town, right? To, uh, uh, almost 20 days, I think it was. Oh, wait. Four weeks? I thought it was... Oh, shit. No, wait, the 28 days I thought was my item. Or is that both? Uh, no, your item takes 30 days. Or oh. a month. Oh, yeah, I, I was equating four weeks to a month. Okay. Or it might be it might be two weeks, but it's not one week. I know that for sure.
Is it possible to get uh, some healing? Some of our yeah, tech. um, mm -hmm. one second. That's fine, take it. Um, I might, oh should I just use a better? We do have, well, I already had one from the last ogre, but I mean. Alright, I'll give you a faith heal too, that's 30 points. That works, thank you. What did I just do there? Uh... That's right. Okay. Uh, what did you do? I added 16 instead of 30. You did say 30, right? Yes. Cool. So I guess the question is, do we... It'll take them longer than a week, right? They've been up there long enough. It's going to take them longer than a month to figure it out. We've been gone for, what, two months? Um, You've only been gone for, like, well, you were only away for about 10 days. So it's only been about two weeks since we started the game in prime material time. It's been yeah. like six weeks for you guys. How long did you say the reinforcements would come from, was it Varsa? Vorsa? Uh, yeah, they're expecting them to take a week to 10 days to organize and arrive. Okay. There are um, guardians stationed in the... Uh, uh, settlement adjacent to you and they're primarily a defensive force you said so well they're, the, they're the brought in area. general are defensive um Eurigor has uh guardians in it and they're less than a day away so if something happens if the scouts say hey there's a hundred hobgoblins marching towards us they can send word and get some guardians at least to the front lines but the uh, the military force from Vorsa is going to take at least a week. Okay. Nice four successes. No, I only got two. I've been trying to just make a macro for it. I got two. That's fair. Um, what are we doing? Spellcraft checks for potions. Yeah, there were four potions, and they were checking. So he got two of them. Yeah, Alex got two right off the bat. Even though his thingy says three. I couldn't remember if I needed to go one less or one more or add the number. I got yeah, it says biggest. it's greater, but it's greater than or equal to. Uh, so I'll, I'll identify it. Cool. Yeah, I totally forgot that they had potions. There was at least one point in there where one of them was badly wounded and not threatened and could have drank his potion. Well, that's, they didn't turn pair of potions, so that's all that matters. Okay, so you guys are going to continue on your patrol? Uh, yes. 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 Okay, so you guys sweep back and forth in the area um, around the uh, river. And as you continue to reach out further and further, you can roll a perception check. You want to put yourselves in marching order? Heading south, right? Uh, you guys are kind of heading uh, east to west, like sweeping back and forth. So I'll figure out which way you want to be going and uh, make a determination from there. I guess we're going in like a this direction. Okay, Gabriel, um, as you guys are sweeping back and forth, you notice something to the south. 
um, and uh, you suddenly have a chill run down your spine as you realize there are orogs well beyond the river. Are those the half giant half? They are half uh, ogres. On a genetic level, they are anti brout They are oversized humans. Um, they're a lot smarter than ogres. They're a lot more cunning and tactical. And uh, they generally are not as random in their um, organization. And they're ahead of the ogres, which at least at the very least implies that the ogres are following them as opposed to uh, them following the ogres. Okay, well, I point out the Orog. That's a lot of Orog. Um, their perception is seven. This is what I save my high level spells for. Oh my god, this is the second time they've just whoop, noticed you. Oh, did I mention that there are uh, a whole bunch of Ogrogs who suddenly turn to attack? Um, they live with the Ogres or? Ogrogs are half human, half Ogres. They are normally the result of uh, captured humans, but uh, in a natural environment. Um, but there isn't a mass breeding uh, system in that regard because human females don't usually survive giving birth to an orog uh, or frequently even survive uh, their encounter with the ogre. Um, ogres unchained will generally rape human females to death. So whether they get pregnant or not isn't really relevant. But on a rare occasion, a human female will survive their encounter and be impregnated. But generally, large numbers of Orogs uh, suggest that someone is organizing a breeding program. And there are no humans anywhere near here, so that is even more disturbing. Which, as we're doing the sweep, is it kind of clear which direction they were coming from or roaming from? Or they either? appear to be heading uh, towards the hobgoblins. They kind of look like they're marching on the hobgoblins and one of them just kind of turns around kind of checking uh, his six and he was like, whoa, there's Brout coming up behind us and calls it out. Maybe we want to try talking to them? You can be my guest. I'm going to roll this. <laughs> That was awesome. You can be my guest. I'm rolling initiative. Oh, I meant to ask you guys how late we're going to play today. You did ask. We just didn't answer. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was kind of trying to say it politely in a way that didn't say, hey, fucktards, could you make a choice? That doesn't sound like you at all. No, it doesn't. I guess that's probably why you guys didn't respond. You just assumed it was somebody else asking. I I'm good for as long as we want. Anyone have a cap time? Negatory. Uh, it's uh, not good. I. Uh, nine would have to be my absolute latest. Nine your time or your mountain time? Mountain time. Okay, so we can uh, go for an extra two hours if everyone's good with that. Cool. I don't have any particular limit. I probably wouldn't want to go past ten, but I assumed on a Sunday night no one would.
it was actually kind of funny because Kenny asked me when he first joined this game uh, what other storylines I had in mind. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff that's about to happen um, that nobody's even aware is coming up because we spent so much fucking time in the Fey Realm that everything's changed. Yeah, were any of those plans being thrown out, kind of thrown out because we got stuck in the Fey Realm for so long? No, um, I think I, I was explaining this to Marath that I always move my timeline forward, regardless of what you guys do. The hobgoblins continue to hobgoblin, the ogres continue to ogre. So my original idea was that the hobgoblin plan was going to be the first chapter, the first to fifth level part of the story, and then the ogres was going to be the second chapter. Um, and you guys didn't finish the first chapter, and now we've moved into the second chapter, so now you have ogres and hobgoblins you're dealing with. So what would have been two relatively um, straightforward and simple uh, situations is turning into a two-prong war that you are not suited to fight. You can always just go back to the uh, night or to the uh, Feywilds and uh, you know train up for a bit, for another month there. Who knows what'll happen by then? Yeah, you could definitely get some good training in while you're there, but while you're not here, things continue, even at a third of the pace. Okay, what is the mighty brave Gertrude doing? Uh, this time, he is going to take a page from everyone else's book, and he's going to move here. He's going to fire with a minus four penalty. Once I look at what that modifier is. I'll be right getting a drink since I'm at the bottom. Uh, that is not with the minus four, so that's a seven, which miss, and he will five foot here, hopefully to give him some kind of cover if that's an allowable space. Otherwise, I'll just go back here. Or here but either way where you went was actually what i was going to suggest if you have your five foot you can move behind the tree for full cover wonderful uh, and that'll be as me okay marath somehow you're up again wow um uh as much as he should use his bow yeah he's going to double move he's going to move behind that uh that is not great I guess that would be... No, it's going to be the same thing. Um, the bush will provide concealment, but not cover. Uh, yeah, I guess he'll go there. That that gives him cover against, I think, more... Oh, you said concealment. Um, concealment and cover are basically the same. One gives you a plus four bonus to armor class, which is a 20% chance of getting missed, and the other one gives you a 20% miss chance. For me, I think the miss chance is better, so I'll go there. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Gabriel. Um, where am I? There I am. Does endurance let you move in medium armor at normal speed? No. Why do you have endurance? Because I need it for diehard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot you went down that chain. You need to move up a bit if you want to hit Marath. I know. Endurance lets you sleep in medium, I think. Yes, that is correct. And it gives you a plus four bonus to uh, fortitude saves and stuff. Anything to do with being in Dury. So I move to there, drawing my bow, and then I cast Bless. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Um, uh, and I do armored whatever. Armored weird skill? Qu- yeah. Weird question. Since DD is wearing the arm bra- or uh, bracers of armor, can I put a magic vestment on that as well? No, because that is a magic vestment. Okay. Magical bonuses don't stack. Okay. Okay, so you're done, Gabriel? Yep. Then Didi's up. Uh, she's gonna she's gonna wait for my command. Or he's gonna wait for my command. Okay. What's your command? Uh oh, it's my go. Um well, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna give him a bark skin. Brings him up to twenty five, twenty six. And then I'm gonna tell him to uh just follow up or follow me. Just stay un- under me. I don't know, heal, I think, would be the command. Yep, and does he have heal as one of his uh, he does. things? Okay. Yeah, heal is just stay close to you. Okay, then it is the Orog's turn. I think they will start out by killing Marath. I think Orogs would count as our enemy. Um, Orogs don't technically count as your enemy, even though it would make a whole lot of sense just because they're not really a a species in general. Um, They don't really have much of a culture of their own. They're just a byproduct of of whoever created them. Like, Orogs leave orc culture and tend to leave human culture and start their own cultures, whereas orogs uh don't tend to do that um the females rarely uh are allowed to to breed with the males so they don't have like a second generation unless that's part of the breeding program and the ogres generally keep the orog females as slaves just like they keep the human females sounds like some job of the hutch yeah ogre culture is super brutal and they don't have any level of morality or honor or anything like that so it's they're kind of like uh, orcs on steroids me gusta me likey okay they are not moving for any tactical thing so don't worry about cover or concealment for them i just didn't want to move them individually does it look like they have bows or anything on them yep they have their bows out that's how they're going to kill Marath. I expect that much, but, you know, got to try my best here. So the six up front can all attack Marath with no penalty. Sounds like a dead Marath. Uh, 17, that's a hit. It is. Fourteen a hit? It is not. Not with the new gear. Nice. Okay, so that's two hits. And three hits. I think you're missing six hits. No, I'm not. Ooh, that first one was nice, though. Yeah. 20, 15, and 11. And then all the other ones have to attack at minus two. Oh, yeah, he's going down. Like going down unconscious? Oh uh, no, I, I think the next volley of uh, this. I don't become my super healer. I don't become my super healer until level nine. I know that's fine. Okay, then the next volley will go at DD. Miss. Miss. 
Let's mess. Let's mess. Armor class is above 24? It's 25. Oh, wow. Okay. First time Jesse did good on his buff. <laughs> okay, then we are on to Goop. All right. I take it getting picked off by arrows is bad for you guys? Oh, Didi's doing fine. Overall, you are correct. All right, I will double move to here. Okay, doing anything else? Nope, that used up all my actions. You can technically take your five foot if you wanted. Alex, you're up. Draw my bow, take my five foot. Um, Why wouldn't you move up 30 feet when you draw your bow? Well, I'm talking about all at the same time. Oh, okay. Take a shot on the uh, northmost one. That's it for me. 